Skip, M.D. Starring Little Daddy Roth as Dr. Skip. Also starring Randolph Howard as Termite. And Henry Busby as Little Billy. And special guest Janine Bronson as Laverne. This episode, The Cadaver Cave. Son of a bitch, get the fuck out of my way. You guys out there before me, you idiot. Get back, termite. Oh, this guy's done, man. We're too late, bruh. He's exasperated. He's percolated. Mm. Oh, well, let's get this one to the cadaver cave, bruh. Steve out of his hoarding area, man. What's this deal now he's got hanging up in here? Hey, how'd you get this project back? Okay, this project came to us from my niece who works for a medical supply company, and she came to me and then she approached me and said, Unky Dweebus, can you get my skeleton done, please? Like, get it done now! Oh man, and of course she's from New York, right? Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, like, I said, okay, we'll do it. Right. And um, we started masking her off, as you can see here. Right. It's pretty complicated because it's got a lot of ins and outs, and you got to get into all these different oh, crevices right. and nooks and crannies on this thing. What are you going to do, the inside of the ribs with the airbrush, or what? No, I used the mini gun. Good question. I used a small mini gun with a smaller cup so I could get in there and get all out those areas covered. Well, that guy's lost his leg uh, use. Uh, kind yeah, of and he's been taped off all his vertebrae with tape. Oh, Steve, so what are you shooting on here? Okay, this is adhesion promoter. The skeleton, Mr. Skelly there, he's made of plastic, so um, paint won't stick if you don't put down adhesion promoter. Right, right. So this is like any adhesion promoter, like they put on the plastic parts of cars today before they shoot the it's all, color. Yeah. It's all the same stuff, and um, we do sell it on the website in our products. And um, you have to, it's a must have. Right on. Okay, mix ratio is one to one. It'll be with Colorcraft Reducer, either National Rule or the Low VLC, and then your Colorcraft base coat. And then if you want the coverage to be a little quicker, you can back off a little bit on the reducer. Well, the coverage looks great on that. Dude. Yeah. It's moving along. That's just one to one. That's right. Okay, so she wanted a, uh, what, some like candy red looking deal? That's right. The request was to um, do basically, I'm not going to say candy apple, I will say candy cherry pie. Um, All right. A candy job. So what we're doing is we're putting down cherry pie base coat in the color craft line. Right. And then we're also putting down cherry pie flake. Okay. And we're going to do um, a cherry pie candy. Um, the request was to do it like Crazy Flakes Blue Skull. Oh, right. She saw the skull at the shop and then just wanted it just like that. That's insane, dude. So she's going to put this on display at trade shows or something? They sell medical? Equipment. Yeah. This goes, um, believe it or not, it's got to be on display at a medical trade show. Similar like where we go to SEMA and stuff. Well, it's yeah. for medical supplies. Right. And she puts a top hat on this thing. And, uh, that's and cool. It's, it's kind of crazy. So, um, And yeah, and she wants that Crazy Flake, the big overdose weird stuff on oh it. wow so what you're doing here is just trying to get color on everything make sure you get color on everything yeah and just taking the short strokes and and yep. uh, busting out but it looks real like it covers real good like on that skull where you're hitting it right now well it, it's red cherry pie base and it's going over the skull and all it's got is the adhesion promoter yeah it does cover well that's awesome you know, dude 
going to town right now. Oh, that's awesome, dude. It's just hanging there all in pieces. That's what I feel like some morning. It's kind of creepy. And that's where my back's messed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like lobster day. Uh, I'm getting hungry, man. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. Well, you know what? That skull's starting to look like one of the crazy flakes right now. Let's get some ribs. All right, baby. <laughs> Aw, flake out. Come on. Hey, what size flake are you shooting on there? This is a, a mini, the small baby flake 004 series. We're using a RI200, which is a raw inner coat product. So um, they rule of thumb two ounces of flake for a quart, but I use the stick method, which um, you pour the flake into the um, inner coat clear or right. whatever you're using. And when you stir it with the stick, when you pull the stick out, you look at the stick. And, oh, right, okay. And the amount of flake on that stick gives you an idea how much you're going to be laying out. Oh, okay. And so what's the head like on that the little gun you're using right there? That it's um that is a 1.4 mini gun that I'm using. I'm using a mini gun so I could get into all those nooks and crannies again. Right, that small flake gets in all those nooks and crannies and like it's, it's just like, coverage. Yeah. The small flake covers faster. And we got all of this um, small stuff to do, so it's easy and quick. We used a, a mini flake. You could see it in the in the images that it's uh, sparkling. Yeah, a lot of people have been ordering that baby flake lately, and I wonder if it's just for that reason. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the chunky flake, but you need the big gun to shoot it out of. But knowing you can just shoot that out of a stock gun is like that's yeah, killer on the inner. Coat. It's easy with a 1.4, and there mm -hmm. we go, and we're flaking out and um, getting it covered really quick. Oh yeah, dude, that's starting to look sick, starting to sparkle, I like that. Oh yeah. But I still want to go get it some ribs, come on. <laughs> Sunny's drive through oh, come on. I'm using window pane, which is a random cut flake. It's it can be a challenge to shoot. Um, shooting it with the 2.5 oh, bomber right. gun, and you're doing that pulsating thing because you got a high pressure to blow it out. Higher pressure, oh, lower right. fan to push out random cut shards of right. insanity. Right, just to make it get all that crazy flake look. Yeah, like ins insanity. Leo wants here. that crazy flake, that weird <laughs> sparkle. I'm like, okay, I hope your boss doesn't fire you. <laughs> <laughs> well, they just want to, you know, have a pretty. Oh, look at that shot right there, dude. That looks like the old butcher shop it's, in New York. Yep, that's the old Bone Daddy swing in there in <laughs> Tribeca. Oh, the man. Godfather shot. Oh, I tell you, it's just craziness, but it's coming along fine. Dude, and I dig that the V2 rocket type of pulsating you were doing there. And what you're doing is trying to just get it more on the, on the high spots and the major areas There's because this large flake in there and then you yeah. want it to come out of a 2.5 i mean it, it's not like a natural thing to be doing <laughs> to tell you, but, uh, we're doing it right right but they, you know that's the way you got to do it and the other thing is to when it's still small enough as to where when you put the clear over this prismatic that you really don't have to do any color sanding or anything but it has a big, big look. Well, shooting at liquid, it's not going to stand up as much. We're going to get a lot of flat, flat surfaces rather than the dry process. So that way we can bury it with a clake, a flake, clake, mm, a flake afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I remember Dad Ooh, using his hands to push down the flake on the candy wagon. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's the way he used to do it. Oh, look at now you're doing. Well, now you're going to start pushing shit down. that mean success or what? I don't that means you're going to drink what's left in the can. I don't think so.
Okay, so we're laying out the candy here. Um, we're putting it down at a two to one. It's two to one, two parts candy, one part activator, and then reduction, um, 10%. It's a little bit liberal on the reduction. You could add more or a tad less, depending on your spray gun that you're using. Yeah, the one you're using is like, what's the tip of that gun right there? Again, it's the 1.4 and it's a mini gun so it could get into all those areas. Oh, cool, yeah. cool. Yeah. There's just a lot of surface area that's not flat, so you gotta jump in there and grab a lot of them. Well, you gotta get in on the ribs there and, and going inside, it's like, oh man. I mean, Leah wanted candy, I really uh, was against it, but here we go. It, uh, it, uh, yeah, how many, okay, so how many coats of candy? You just put one even coat as you could on, or did you hit it twice? I went around it a couple times and tried to get it even. I mean, normally on a car you go five, five or six coats for depth, but this is a couple coats of candy. Um, the flakes still came through it, which is fine. That's what Oh, we, absolutely. You yeah. know, especially the big sparkly stuff. Oh, yeah, and that's exactly when she wants that crazy flake look from being out. She had requested crazy flake, you know, and, and that's what you get. I'm like, oh, man, okay. Yeah, so at the end of the day, you've used like three cups maybe of candy and then just yeah. jumped it all on there. Yeah, yeah, it was like that, and we kept going until we had this bone daddy all covered up. <laughs> did you put the gun up inside this rib cage? Probably? I sure did. I had to. Look, look at that scene there. That looks like another scene out of New York. Oh, man. Well, you know, that's why I left. You know, you could probably rent that um, whole scene right there to one of the Godfather movies. I mean, one of, my buddies, one of my buddies found somebody floating on the east side. But we won't oh, bring really? that up now. <laughs> was I mean, it a candy it, red skeleton? It was in with Brooklyn. A, it was what? in Brooklyn. Oh. Yeah. Did he have uh, concrete socks? Uh, I didn't want to ask. <laughs> it was just, you know, I mean, I was getting out of there. It was Williamsburg yeah. area. Time to, time to go west, young man. I think that's a little trendy now. Everybody's <laughs> there. Back then, it wasn't like that. Right. You know? Well, dude, you're just dialing this thing We're getting right her in. done. We're getting her done. And I really like the skull the way it is. You know what? One day, when we were in Germany, Robert Williams told me, he goes, Dennis, you got a really bitchin' shaped skull. I go, thank you, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, look at that. What are you, late night at the shop, door open. Looks like Tribeca on a summer afternoon. Yeah, we're laying out clear coat now. It's a DGC 66 uh, Colorcraft Clear, uh, two to one mix ratio, and it's got great gloss retention. We're laying it out here to finish up this project. Do you put a lot of reducer in that clear? No, nah, not too much, maybe five to 10%. You can, it's more forgiving. You could do more than that. It depends on the spray out and the gun you're using. Oh yeah, dude, that looks that looks sick. And the best thing is about when you're shooting it over baby flake is that you don't have to color center on it, it just covers instantly. Yeah, it covers really good and right now it, I'm thinking of the Tribeca meat market on the west side. <laughs> it's just crazy, but there you go. Hey, look who's here! It's hey. Smudge! Brent Mackin, aka Smudge, is here to give us a hand with Skeletal yeah, Stand. Yeah, get down with Bone Daddy. Right on. Well, come on inside and we'll have a side of ribs. All right, well, here we are. Oh, Smudge, man. meet Stan. He's a little thin <laughs> in his skin through here. This is our project, and um, what we're asking for your assistance, if you can lay in some silver lines on his ribs to clean them up a bit, and anything else you got in mind? I'm dying to give him a cold tooth up in that grill. Well, let's go for that. That sounds like a, a damn good idea, I would say. So I'll let you go to work on it. Thank you. All right. And I'll see you in a little bit. Down. No one can. Have
Shots. Well, oh, man, this thing really turned out awesome, dude. Like the icing on the cake. There's his jealous co-partner in the back wondering when his or her new suit Well, is that coming. might be Brent in the back. Right? You never know. <laughs> this red skeleton might have killed him back. Gangsta style with the gold tooth. Oh, yeah, but see, the flake just shows up so good under that candy. That stuff lays down good, dude. Yeah, I mean, I shot some random cut um, window pane on top of all of this to give it that extra sparkle. Yeah, before you cleared it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, so it, uh, it covers all that stuff just insanely. Yeah, hopefully Leah will like it. I mean, yeah. Oh, dude, I can't see how she won't. But everything looks so sick on it. Yeah. Yeah, and he did a great job pinstriping those ribs, dude. Yeah. But I wonder if my I wonder if my cage looks like that. I doubt it. Oh man, I don't know if you're that spiffy. <laughs> no, all my joints are worn out. That, that, one, that one's got good. Pretty taste, awesome. So. I'm happy. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. it's happy. It's good to go. It's ready to be shipped out to. I mean, it's going to Illinois for a trade show. Holy moly, dude! All oh, these doctor shows are so fake. Look at that, Flake's Anatomy. <laughs> it's a rerun. What? I hate reruns. Yeah. <laughs> 